Smokey. Bill is a kid. When are you going to learn? You ain't got a horse no more. You're a ghost. Smile when you see that, Bill. Smile. That's better, that's better. All right, you're a ghost and I'm a ghost, but but I'm a real hungry ghost. You know, a body can get mighty hungry eating nothing but angel food cake all the time. <laughs> you mean the uh, devil food cake, huh, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you know, as soon as we round us up a gang and rustle us some cattle, ooh, we'll be sinking our teeth into some real vittles. Yeah, like uh, flapjacks, huh? <laughs> uh, flapjacks don't come from cattle, Billy. No? No. I was wondering why I ain't never seen any flat cows. Uh, hey, I just got me an idea. See that castle over there? Let's use it as a homestead. Then we can round us up a gang and, and get us to eating. <gasps> hey, come on. Wait, 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 hold it. Hey, what? We're the Ghostbusters. I'm Spencer. He's Tracy. I'm Kong. We're the Ghostbusters. We're clever, courageous, and strong. We know what you're up to. We're ready for anything. We're bold and we're fearless and never afraid. We're always prepared. We're right there with every call. With us on the job, trouble soon fade. The Ghostbusters do it again. secret project? Well, there's nobody here. What are you working under that cloth for? Isn't it kind of hard to work that way? Yeah, but if I find out what I'm working on, the, the whole neighborhood will know. What? Well, you know how bad I am at keeping secrets. Anybody looking? Not a soul. Tracy's not here, remember? Voila! It works! It works! And I bet you thought I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, rats. The line is dead. It must be connected to your brain. Spencer, Tracy, and Kong. Ghostbusters. Uh. Spencer, Tracy, and Kong. Ghostbusters. Spencer, Tracy, and Kong. Ghostbusters. There must be an echo in here. Oh. oh, yes. Hey, who was that? Tracy. Well, what do you want? How do I know? He can't talk. He just likes to use the phone. Where'd he go, anyway? To the model shop to pick up supplies for his model airplane. Oh. <laughs> do you get the feeling that he ain't very strong in the use of a tape measure? <laughs> Orville, that won't work. <laughs> All right, go get our next Ghostbusting assignment and take the Red Baron there with you. Okay, but if he's in a flying mood, I am going to drive. <laughs> Oh, I get it. You want to toss a coin to see who drives, huh? <laughs> Heads! You lose. Bill! <laughs> I don't know how he did that. The coin I was using had two heads. Spence, I've told you time and again, it does not pay to cheat. Go. <laughs> Billy! Hey, 
Christmas, you can get a job pulling the sled. Some nice men in white suits and a net are going to take you out of town. <laughs> Let's go 
see if we can pick up their trail. Then maybe we'll know what Zero meant by they got a beef. every square foot of this here town, Billy, looking for likely wrestling ants for our gang. All we could find us was dudes. Yeah. I never seen you so many clothing stores. <laughs> That's duds, jalopy and cayuse. I meant no harm. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Billy. You know, we're gonna have to find some mighty dumb dudes for our gang if, if they're gonna have to take orders from you. <laughs> Did we have to come here to pick up their trail? You don't like coming through here, right? Are you kidding? Coming to a cemetery at night is my second favorite thing in the whole world. What's your first favorite thing? Printing, wipe your feet on my belly and lying in front of an elephant's door. <laughs> hey, I hear hoofbeats. It must be Billy and Bell. No, no, ghost don't ride horses. He... But just in case, give me that ghost dematerializer. The... What? Oh, would you go get the ghost kit? Some days. Will you cut out that horse fool playing nonsense? Hey, Bell, this ain't horse playing. I'm squatting mosquitoes. <laughs> Well, the short is thicker than flies tonight. Look at that one. Billy, well, there is flies. There is flies? Yeah. Hm. Could have fooled me. Sure look thicker than flies. Mm. Well, one thing's sure. It ain't thick in your head. Listen, come on. We're going to take this here shorty cut through the cemetery. The we'll cemetery? Get... Oh, yeah. But don't be scared. Oh, no. Uh, oh. We'll go on into town and find us a couple of real dumb dudes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Somebody's coming. What do you mean, get out of here? We've got a job to do. A job to do, a job to do. Is that all you ever think about is a job to do? My Uncle Herman had a job to do, and look what happened to him. What happened to him? He did 20 years in jail. Well, what kind of a job did he have? He worked in a bank. Well, you can't do 20 years in jail for working in a bank. You can if you got the night shift, kid. Hey, we saved ourselves a trip to town, Billy. There can't be no dudes dumber than those two. I got some good news for you and some bad news. Well, give me the good news first. I know where Belle and Billy are. Now the bad news. There they are. Hey. Howdy there, partners. <laughs> Welcome to our cattle and rustling gang. <laughs> hey, you know, Belle, if I'd been able to saddle one of them in the old days... <laughs> Ain't a sheriff for life could have caught me. <laughs> oh, no, loved it, loved it. <laughs> what took you so long? You're slower than a grazing cow. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm just thinking how funny Tracy looked this morning with those moose horns on his head. Yeah. Oh, 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 you just gave me an idea. <laughs> Well, Bill, no doubt about it. Sure did let them dumb dudes get peach clean away. <laughs> that plum clean away, you fuzzy face nitwit. Well, <laughs> well uh, I didn't know that it was one of them there vegetables. I didn't know. No, you can't lift. We got company. Well, I mean, you said. Sp well, I, I just. You know, I meant no. Squatters' rights. And that ain't easy when you're wearing spurs. We're glad to meet you, folks. My name is Klondike Kong. Introduce yourself. I'm Slim Spencer. That, not me to them. <laughs> Speaking of loose nuts, I think the harvest thing. I think you're right. We had a hard day out there on the range rustling all that cattle. Much cattle as we rustled, why, I sure would like to wet my whistle. Wow, Billy, where's your manners? Invited me and come on in. Right. I'll get you some water. Right neighborly of you, man. Thank you very much. Come me right this way. There you go. Wet your whistle, friend. Comes in handy for calling fish that way. Well, you know, we come back 
because uh, we're going to hanker in for some real vittles. Eh? Oh. <laughs> I wish I could use some help, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm wondering whether or not you uh, varmints are uh, real bona fide cattle rustlers now, are you? Why, two of the very best, partner. Two of the very best. Why, more parcels of cattle critters has been rustled by us than it has been tumbleweed rustled by a wind of whipping through the draw, whistling like a banshee on the prairie, listening to a coyote hooping and hollering and looking at a full moon in the sky darker than a mule's mood, whilst the rattlesnake sashays on by there looking for a gopher to spit on. Ha! Easy for you to say. That's what you say. Here's what did you say, Yara. You won't be taking it unkindly to be showing us some proof. Spence. Why don't you just bring on that critter that we rustled up there this morning? I'd be peach proud, too. <laughs> That's plum proud? <laughs> well, now, how's that for proof? That, that sure is a funny-looking cow. Did you ever see a handsome cow? <laughs> oh, I reckon you have a point. Uh, is that near cow? Uh, did you give milk? Why, sure. Come on. Listen, them two dudes look suspiciously like those guys we saw in the cemetery. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll tell you why. Why? These dudes? Yeah. Much dumber than those guys in the cemetery. I think they're getting suspicious. Smile when you say that, partner. You play them some music, and I'll go over and get the ghost dematerializer out of this here saddlebag, huh? Good idea. Not that kind of music, you clown. Play it on the guitar. Oh. Home, home on the range With deer and the antelope play. Did you ever play with an animal? They'll run you ragged. Seldom is heard a discouraging word. Shots. She said a discouraging word. <laughs> and the skies are not cloudy all day. Well, <laughs> stranger, I, I hope I cheered you up. <laughs> you may not be a good wrestler, but it sure can play the guitar. <laughs> I miss me. I've never seen no cow would eat bananas. Me neither. No. Well, that sure is a funny-looking gadget for a rustler. We ain't rustlers. We are Ghostbusters. Yeah. And this here gadget is going to send you back where you belong. Ghostbusters! Billy, come on, you cop! Oh, oh. Uh, don't worry, Bill. I'm okay. I got me a horse waiting. I got a horse waiting. said about them coming back because they had a hankering for some real vittles. <laughs> Do you really think that'll get Bill to come out of hiding? Well, we'll know soon enough that their meat's almost done. <laughs> now, how did you get that to cook without any flames in the fire? Well, I left it on an hour long. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that do smell good. I'll bet you I know somebody sure like to eat that, huh? <laughs> Not you. Get your paws off that you mean to me, it's mine. Well, this here place ain't big enough for the four of us. Well, as far as I won't be going back on with this time. <laughs> well, well, that's how it was moving west. I always wondered how it would be Moving east. Thanks for the middle, gal, Pope. Ha ha! Well, I'll 
tell you one thing. Belle and Billy the Kid won't be coming back to this town anytime soon. Right. Hey, let's go to the drive-in. There's a good cowboy movie playing. Good idea. Trace, go get the car ready. What's with the argument? I am the boss around here. Now, what makes you think you're the boss? That gives him the right, I guess. What makes you say that? He's the fastest draw in the West. <laughs>